Not Your Professional Walkthroughs Channel presents... Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Graveyard Keeper here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs Channel with me, your host Max. Well, on today's episode, we will continue our brief journey, as on the previous one, I actually managed to cover quite a lot of the story-based content, especially for Miss Charm, Snake, and the Astrologer. But, in order for me to continue, I will need to keep grinding through the game in order to provide you more fun content, especially if I want to get across more of those lovely, lovely visions from the Stranger Sense DLC. Therefore, yep, there's gonna be some skipping and who knows what else in order for me to get across the content which I need to provide for the channel. So, on the previous episode, we have spoken to the writer who is sitting at the tavern who has the massive, massive crush on Miss Charm. And in order for him to feel inspired to write the story for Miss Charm, he requires a booze which will get him high so that he can actually write the damn story so that Miss Charm can perform much better at our tavern. So we need an infusion of fly. And if I were to come and check here, this is what we need. So we overall need three red mushrooms and one booze. Now I currently do not have any booze on me, so I'm gonna probably have to work on getting some of the apple ferment or the berry ferment. I would really hate to like utilize some of the grapes or the wine in order to turn out booze. And the fun thing is actually that the infusion kills 20 HP points. So I'm not really sure what's the use for the alcohol anyhow. But yeah, I'm gonna take a look at what's our current status here. So the apple cider or the apple juice is actually being made. I do not have more apples or berries down here, so I'm gonna probably have to wait for this to get finished off, and then I will be able to drop off that necessary nectar for the rider so that he can perform. Okay, why are you not working? So I'm going to load in whatever I can in order to produce and most likely I will do some grinding and I will talk to you once that has been finished off. So stick around and I'll talk to you soon. Later. Okay, so the booze is brewing. I did see Snake walking up there, and we are supposed to help him with whatever in the world is he trying to pull off down here, so let's go see what he will tell us about the ritual. Final task. Now, fun thing is, you actually are not even forced to go down into the lower levels. The golden apple can be actually purchased from Glotho herself. So I wonder if I were to travel to see her, if I can obtain the golden apple and return back here. 
Okay, so we should have the boost, so I'm gonna stash it over here. I'm gonna take the apple cider or juice or whatever it's called. And I think I have the teleportational stone over here. So, I'm gonna go talk to Clotho. If she has the golden apple, I'm not sure if I have one stashed somewhere around here already. But if not, yeah, actually we do have one, so I don't even have to go to see Clotho. Yeah, I think I did purchase it quite a while back, I thought it might be useful. Okay, anyhow, let's put away this and let's go give him the golden apple. Now, of course, I'm gonna do an episode to run through the last remaining levels of the dungeon, so that I have at least that covered as well. So let's give him that apple, and now we have 90 reputation points, which means that I can ask him to steal the amulet from the lighthouse keeper, and because he will steal the amulet from the lighthouse keeper, we can see two more visions. And I wasn't paying attention, but... Uh, sure. Wow. Okay, we have to take a look at how many blue points did I get by licking the golden apple. Weirdest sentence ever uttered on the series so far. You need what? The dark heart. Oh my god, please tell me I have at least one stashed away and I did not turn all of them into the death potions and such. It's actually funny, I'm doing most of his tasks even before the day starts. Dark heart, dark heart, please let me find you here. Yes! Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we're gonna take the organ. Or please don't ask me to lick this thing too. That That's just gonna be weird and I'm definitely gonna refuse that. Especially since this thing removes like four cents out of a corpse. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not, not gonna do that. Anyhow. Let's go take a look at what will he tell us. I'm 
relationship. How did those two got down there? And that's actually an achievement, a father and a son. Um, seriously. How, how did they know he's exactly here? Does he have like a GPS? And how were they not freaked out by all the decor? Yeah, I still am kind of shocked, but I still need you to get me that amulet from the lighthouse keeper. Wow, I actually managed to get both of the endgame items from the Inquisitor and the Snake. That, that is just awesome. Wait, you knew? Okay, so we have both the Endless Notebook and the Eternal Burning Coal. I still, however, need to ask Snake to steal the damn amulet, so I really hope he's actually still there somehow. And I hope I won't have to wait another week, that would really make me freaking angry. Please tell me you're still there. Fudge! Okay. Oh, this is gonna definitely complicate things. Ah, darn it. Hmm. Yeah, we did dig up those shackles. I, I need to find a way to ask Snake to steal the amulet from the lighthouse key. Yeah, you see? It's still there. Well? That was fun. Actually, kind of thinking if I would... Aw, oh, darn it. I don't have anything saved. Uh... Yeah, I was just thinking that if I would go back and try to first ask him for the amulet before finishing this off I would have it so now I'm kind of struggling to 
think if I should go to bed and save up the overall progress, cause th this is gonna complicate stuff. Damn! But okay, did not see that one coming. Yeah, okay, I definitely need to ditch those two items. I should make like a separate chest for those things. Because we have the salty pork, the mirror of pride, and now we have the eternal burning coal and the endless notebook. So, fun stuff. Okay, I'm gonna have to think about this and I'll talk to you once I know how to proceed further. Yippee! Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go to sleep. On the next day is the day when the Inquisitor tends to show up on top of the Witch Hill. So I'm gonna actually go there tomorrow and see if he will show up and maybe we will find out if we can achieve 100 points of reputation with him. So I'll talk to you when we get there. Okay, so apparently he is here. And there is no more interaction that can be done. Which means that Snake will mostly... ...show up next week at the basement. It was a dream! Okay. option for me to potentially join the guards. There is actually an achievement which you can get in the game.
Okay, night watch. That's an achievement. And 100 points of reputation. So overall, now when we will need to do anything around here, like for example, craft the emitter for which I will need the salt fork, the mirror of pride, or the eternal burning coal, I can actually build this damn thing. But the barrel, I will need the golden angle, the endless notebook, and the necklace. Now, we have no way of getting the angle, because I believe this is the astrologer's item. And the necklace, I'm not really sure to whom this one is connected, so... Overall, yeah, fun stuff, fun stuff. But I will guess I'll cut the episode here. I know it's a bit shorter compared to the previous one, but I did manage to cram in quite a lot of story-based content, so it would be shame for me to try and show you more stuff and prolong the episode. Sometimes people enjoy the shorter episodes more, sometimes the longer ones, who knows. Anyhow, if you like what I do here on the channel, please consider subscribing. Leaving a like will also help me a lot as the YouTube algorithm will then pick up the episode and try to push it towards more people so that I can create a bigger community around the channel. Since I'm a new channel, I actually tend to read the comment section, so in case you have something which you would like to discuss, ask or point out, please feel free to do so. I'll be more than happy to get back to you either in the comment section or at the next episode. But until then, I'm gonna wish you all the best and hopefully I will see you there. Bye bye!